Hey gang, welcome. This is my introduction to Simulink. Um, it will help, of course, for lab one, but uh, in general, we'll use some Simulink throughout the semester also. So Simulink is a block programming language, and it's a tool in uh, that, that you get access through MATLAB. So you open up MATLAB, and then you find this button up here, um, and it says Simulink Library. You click on that, and um, I would have done that, but it, some computers on my Mac it took, so, took a little longer, so I just opened it first before starting the video. Um, but it'll pop up eventually, and you get to this, all right? Now, as I said, it's a block uh, diagram programming language, and uh, you see there's a whole bunch of blocks. There's folders, subfolders, etc. Okay, now for this class, we will primarily only need uh, this one folder and its subfolders. Okay, the Simulink folder. Um, everything else is more advanced. You might get a chance to use those at some point in your career, but for this class, we'll just be using the Simulink folder. Also, in the Simulink folder, we'll really only use three, I'm mean, sorry, four, maybe five folders, but probably just four. We'll be using the commonly used. Now, the, all these blocks here you see are actually in the the other subfolders. It's somewhere, okay? But uh, like the gain, that's a multiply by whatever constant um, that's inside. As you see, it looks like an op amp, so, and an op amp is well known to be used for an amplifier, which is a multiplier, so that's sort of that symbol. Now there is a product block too, which does multiplication, but you input, instead of putting it in the block like three, you would put in a constant three, notice here's a constant, three into here, and then whatever the other side is to multiply by. Very similar, the gain is just more common in the control world, but they do the same thing actually. Here's an integrator, if you remember uh, in our Laplace transform table, we um, we derived that one over s is an integrator. Uh, summer block, that's really a popular one. You'll notice it's a circle, in, in, and then out. Um, we can change the shape, and I will do that for you here soon. Um, but the circle is probably the most common in, in the control world. Um, So uh, continuous is another one. It's going to have uh, continuous time functions like integrator, derivative, things like that. We'll use some of these later. Transfer function, I haven't defined that. Here's a transfer function in pole zero form. Again, a little foreshadowing there. Okay, so those two. Then we're really just going to skip all the way down to the other most important um, two folders, subfolders, which is sinks and sources. So think of sinks, or let's start with sources. Remember, our system has an input and it has an output. So we need, we need inputs, all right? So that's where you find sources. You're gonna find like the constant, even though it was in commonly used blocks. You're gonna find a ramp, you're gonna, which is T. You're gonna find the step. You're gonna find a sine wave. You're gonna find random number, etc. Okay, so think, when you wanna think an input, Go to sources. Uh, not use sinks. Okay. So now, when the when the simulation is done, of course, we want to visualize it or save it. So we'll want to put it into a scope, or if it's just a number, we'll display the number. Um, probably most importantly, you want to save the data to MATLAB so you can then plot it. Um, I expect all plots in lab reports to be created in MATLAB, not just screen captured on Simulink or anything like that. Okay, so make sure you get it to the workspace. Uh, workspace. So we'll look at that. All right, well, let's play, do some really basic stuff. Okay, and then you can watch the next lecture on Lab 1, uh, or the next video on Lab 1 to see how to use these blocks to create, uh, or to simulate a differential equation. All right, all right, let's start out by making a new um, canvas okay so 
Uh, let's just say, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take 3 plus 4. All right. Really ridiculous, but but we got to start somewhere. Okay. So I'm going to take, I'm going to drag a constant. Drag it over here. And then I'm going to double click it to get inside of it, see what options. And I'm going to change the constant to 3. Then I'm going to get 4, another constant, 4. Although in this case, I'm just going to hold control and drag. Oh, let's try it again. There we go. Um, so that allows you to copy. And notice they are different, though. Con this is title constant. This is title constant one. Now uh, I need to sum them. So let's go the commonly used as multiplication. Oh, yeah, the summer. The summer. Drag the summer in. Now you'll notice there's a plus plus and a space up here with nothing and if you look over here you see bar plus plus so notice if I move that bar like to the middle let's see what will happen let's hit apply notice how it moved things around so you can play with that in our situation um, we're just gonna use the rectangle and we're gonna get rid of the well let's leave the bar and you'll see what happens it leaves what happens is it leaves a space wherever you put that bar but that's really only useful in the round so let's just apply it and then everything spreads out okay you as you saw you can resize you can even flip uh sorry you can right click and uh, let's do flip you know you can flip block you can rotate it so you can do things like that uh, so keep that in mind it'll be useful later all right now to connect them, I'm going to take the output of the constant 3. Um, there it is. And bring it over, and it'll automatically snap. Another option is to click on the block and then hold Control, usually on a PC, on a Mac, I think it's Command, and you click on the other block and it'll automatically do it. Okay? And uh, let's now we want to go to sinks, or probably it's in commonly used. No, let's go to sinks. Let's grab a display. Okay. Um, so let's hit play. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's thinking. Having trouble here. Just to add three plus four. Okay, here you go. Notice it's seven. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Oops, that was too much. Okay. Um, so 3 plus 4 is 7. Another thing is, although it doesn't matter in this case because it's so basic, um, I'm going to set it up as if I was going to uh, simulate a differential equation. So I'm going to go to Model Configuration Parameters. And I'm going to set it so it uses ODE45. Um, to simulate okay hopefully it pops up here okay so it's already it's already OD 45 here's one thing that you'll find that's very important the max step size remember this is a variable step runge cutter so I don't like it when sometimes MATLAB chooses a very coarse um, step size and then it looks like you know very not, not very smooth of a, of a simulation so I like to do 1e to the minus 3 always. I always apply that. Uh, you can also do things like limit, uh, you know, oh, notice, this no longer happens, I believe, in higher um, numbered MATLABs, like 2018. I'm a, what is this? 2014. So, so this, is a, this becomes a problem. Do not limit your data. That is, you know, back in the day when it was, you know, memory is problematic. So that's going to be important. But I believe they no longer do that anymore in 2018. Um, so, but double check that. Go to data, import, export, and make sure you're not limited. Otherwise, you'll save the data and you'll be like, where's, where is everything? Okay. So that's good to go. All right. Let's play some more. So let's multiply, let's multiply, instead of, let's actually do, instead of three, let's, Let's do this. Let's go to commonly used. Let's use a step. Oh, where's my step? Oh, gotta go to the sources. Let's use a step. Okay. I'm gonna drag it up here. 
and then I'm going to double click it and I'm going to say okay step time at uh, sure at one second initial value is zero when it steps it's three and that's good sample time is for discrete time systems and I'm going to control drag it okay um, now I'm going to do step time four and um, let's do a value of four okay and it's going to stop now I'm going to delete this and I'm going to go ahead and go to sinks and I'm going to grab a scope instead you can either eh, okay just drag it over there you go so uh, another thing with scopes if you open it up up oh, there it is you can see there's a um, there's a settings gears same thing with this this is an older MATLAB notice how it limits the history so frustrating if you don't remember to uncheck that again I believe they've changed that in the future but you should double check you never know okay so now let's go ahead and hit play all right notice at one second it jumped to three and then oh let's put it out there you go at one second it jumped to three and at four seconds it added another four um, so you've got this function um, and in the end it became seven all right another thing that is in, so let's multiply too let's do um, let's do let's multiply so I'm gonna drag again so let's drag gain in let's multiply by three and yeah, it doesn't matter and notice I didn't do anything MATLAB um, Simulink has gotten a lot smarter over the years or the programming has gotten uh, more user-friendly so you do, a lot of times you don't have to do things um, so now I hit play and it's multiplied by three of course yeah so I hit play let's look at the scope so now it's three times whatever three times three yeah nine and then an added four gives you 13 okay um, okay now let's say you want to also um, save this data okay uh, so I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna go to which you will I'm gonna go to workspace okay and I'm gonna go I'm gonna double click it and I'm not notice there's a few different options for format I always just do array I just want a matrix of data column of this column of that okay so and it, it's gonna be called sim out let's check it out so I'm gonna control now if I want to I don't want to delete this I want to tap into this signal and take it into multiple places so I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna drag it okay that's how I tap off of any signal so these two wires are the same it's coming off the same signal so uh, I think we're good all right let's hit play now let's go to the workspace and notice here's some here's a very cool thing notice there's a it I didn't even ask it to but it it's smart enough these days where back in the day it wasn't and I had to use a clock you have to use a clock to create the time vector and you'll notice that my code uh, sample code in lab one has the clock you don't need it anymore because it does it for you okay but there's some out it's one it's one vector this long because I did 1e e to the minus 3 so 10 set and I simulated for 10 seconds notice the simulation times right there so there it is okay so now I can go plot t out comma sim out and in a second we'll do more than one vector okay all right there it is all right let's come back let's do let's let's do multiple signals let's say all right so now I'm going to well Okay, so now I want to put it, I want to save multiple vectors, not just one. So I'm going to come over here to the library. Where are you? Okay, so I'm going to go to sig, I'm going to go to commonly used, but it's also in signal routing. And I'm going to mux. Now I can mux, I can actually make as many, I can do as many ports as I want or inputs. I'm just going to do two at the time. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. 
a little put that in and then I'm going to drag let's do control control into here and then let's take this one this signal I'm just making things up at this point but there are going to be cases where you're interested in multiple signals in a system so now I'm going to play it and in fact actually let's do this let's take the sim out and plot it too on the scope so let's control drag okay let's plot again now I'm going to open this up and notice two signals are plotted on the same plot and if I go to the um, there you go so no, notice I go to the workspace in, um, in MATLAB and you've got the same length vectors but now you have two of them and you, have, you still have your T out so if I do sim out of all the rows comma one that's that and if I do second then it gives you that one okay so these are the, some of the tricks that you'll want to use in Simulink let's get back up here um, I believe that is sufficient to get you started I'll take a quick peek here make sure I got it um, there's that clock I was mentioning like I said you want to you can also demux if you want to you for cleanliness purposes you might want to mux everything into a single all the signals into a single wire or what a, and then demux it later to do something um, yeah I think I think we're good to stop here and I will continue to um, teach you a little simulink as we go on all right have fun